long preserved for our walk in this world. They resound with... Welcome again to Proverbial Wisdom, and thank you again for allowing me to come and join you wherever you are to spend just a few moments in God's Word as we learn how we can be well, better people, how we can learn to be those that apply the wisdom of God and are discerning in our life. As we close out Proverbs 22 today, what Solomon is sharing with us are just some practical, practical statements, practical observations, practical bits of wisdom for our life, how we can have a better life, how we can make better choices. This is a an application and applications of the wisdom that he has been sharing throughout the first 22 chapters of this book. Let's look at Proverbs 22, and let's look at verse 22 through the end of the chapter, and just notice the bits of great wisdom and advice, and how that discernment and knowledge is applied in each of these situations. Do not rob the poor because he is poor, or crush the afflicted at the gate. For the Lord will plead their cause and rob of life those who rob them. Make no friendship with a man given to anger, nor go with a wrathful man, lest you learn his ways and entangle yourself in a snare. Be not one of those who gives pledges, who Put up security for debts. If you have nothing with which to pay, why should your bed be taken from under you? Do not move the ancient landmark that your fathers have set. Do you see a man skillful in his work? He will stand before kings. He will not stand before obscure men. Listen again, or look again, at some of the things that Solomon is saying. Don't oppress those who are already oppressed because God is watching out for those that are hurting and it will come back to bite you in the end. That's not what he says, but that is what he says. And then don't hang around people that are that are angry because you might pick up on that and that's going to be your ruin. It's what your parents told you or should have told you. Be careful who your friends are because you're going to be like those peers, those people around you. Don't give pledges for your debts. In other words, don't go into debt so much that you lose your bed. Don't extend yourself so much that if the debt collectors come, you have nothing. Be careful with those things. Don't move the ancient landmark your father has set. Now, we've used that recently, and people have used that recently, I should say, to talk about some of the bringing down of monuments in our country. And though I think there may be some application there, I'm not sure that's exactly what he's saying. The landmarks he's talking about, the, the monuments he's talking about, <clears throat> are those things that God's people have set. Those things to remind people of God and what God has done. Don't neglect those things that remind you of how God has worked in your nation and in your people and in your family. Don't neglect God. Now, now God's not mentioned, but I, I think that's the implication there. Now, as far as it goes to a nation like the United States of America, we do need to be very careful about tearing down all landmarks and all monuments because it may lead us to forget the crimes and the good of the past. But at the same time, we need to be careful about who we set a monument to because we could be communicating things we don't intend to communicate if we set that monument to men. Now, monuments, to me, need to focus on good, need to focus on accomplishments, need to focus on the things of God more than the things of man because man, after all, is imperfect. Every person that's ever lived has had their inconsistencies, their sin, their crimes against God, except for Jesus Christ. So we need to be careful about honoring people to the extent that we we sanctify them in a sense of making them more than the human. 
But at the same time, we need to be careful about destroying our history. There's a balance there. Use wisdom, use discernment. You see a man skillful in his work, he's going to succeed. But a man who, who isn't, you really won't know much about him. Be focused. Be true to you as you're being true to God. Learn from those who've gone before. Learn from the wisdom that comes from God. And apply that wisdom to the way you lead your life. Be careful. Be cautious to be around those people of God. And put yourself, I should say, around the people of God. Let's go to God in prayer. Dear God, we thank you so much for your care, for your blessings, for your love. And Father, we pray that you help us to surround ourselves with people who are wise, that we surround ourselves with people who help us to do the right thing and make the right choices, that we avoid those people who tear us down and lead us to be people that we don't need to be for you. And Father, we pray that you help us to look to our past, to learn from the history of how we should behave and to avoid the things of the past that are that were wrong. And Father, in any nation, in any family, in any group, there are good things in our past and there are there are sins in our past. And Father, as we remember those by looking at those monuments, help us to focus on the good and not celebrate the wrong. And Father, specifically in our country, in this United States, as we look to the past, help us celebrate those people that fought for equality and fought for truth and fought for what was right. Help us not celebrate those that fought to oppress. And Father, forgive us for our, our part in that, even this far removed, that, that our part of continuing that divide, especially between your brothers and sisters, between our brothers and sisters, your children. Father, forgive us for all our sins and help us to help us to use the wisdom and knowledge that comes from you to be the right people for you. And this is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you again for joining us for Proverbial Wisdom. I look forward to being with you again tomorrow and for you allowing me to come into your house, to your office, to your car, wherever it is, so that we can spend time in God's Word. Until the next time we're together, my prayer is, well, as always, that God will bless your day. We have come with all.